Why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. Welcome to the game. Please introduce yourself. Where are you going from? Peace. It's Hallett from Brooklyn. My brother, what's going on? What's up? Hey, what's up, y'all? All right, all right. What's up, Hallett? What's up, what's up? Yeah, I'm right, sorry brother, I didn't get to hear the other opinions and what the mm-hmm. topic was because I just jumped in. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, it's pretty much uh, should African Americans have their own schools, Hollow. Their own schools. Yeah. Gee, I wonder. I wonder how I feel about this. Own oh, schools. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. Jeez. Decisions, decisions. Um, okay. I think that African Americans should have their own school system. Okay. Because having your own schools within someone else's system ain't gonna work. Um, you know, I won't say it ain't gonna work. I think the Chinese do it. It's like like um, Mark was saying. When I've been to Chinatown and I've seen so-called public schools in Chinatown, and you would think that it was a Chinese school. Mm, right. But for some reason, when Chinese just deal with Chinese, nobody is threatened by that. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, the, I noticed that the biggest, the big difference is that people want black folks to play by a different set of rules than everybody else. Hmm. That's the thing that that, that that really annoys me. Like, when you start talking about black schools, then all of a sudden you hear stuff like, well, it, wouldn't that be discriminatory? Oh, well, <laughs> now being discriminatory is an issue? <laughs> now, that, now it's a problem to discriminate. Why? Because black people want to discriminate. But if anybody else discriminates, oh, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> When I go, when you go to a Chinese restaurant, no, but I have yet to see somebody protest a Chinese restaurant because it's only Chinese workers there. <laughs> you notice that? Mm-hmm. Nobody protests and says, oh, "I ain't eating this fake food, young. Y'all better hire some black people. How come no guy named Jamal ain't, ain't working here?" Nobody says that. <laughs> okay. But the moment we get something of our own. Then everybody cries about discrimination. Oh God! Or, or they feel like they're going to be excluded from it. Wow! That's the part that really gets me. Right. Right. And I explained this to to R. We was having a conversation yes. offline, and mm-hmm. I said, "It's no different to me. A black school within a black system." Um, but you know what? We don't have a black system, so let me just deal with the schools now within the American context. Mm-hmm. Does Harvard say that black people can't go to Harvard? No. 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 They have a quota that they fill where there's black people there, where there's some Spanish people there, the mm-hmm. Asians there, or whatever other race you got to have to fill their quota. But is anybody going to argue whether Harvard is a white school or not? Yeah. So then what's the problem with black folks having a black school? And yeah, don't exclude we don't have to exclude white people. Have some a no. quota of white people there, a quota of Asians, a quota of all these other races, but it yet it be a predominantly black school. What's the problem? Mm-hmm. Isn't that the same thing that we got going on right now? Mm-hmm. Pretty much, yeah. But see, it, it becomes when you th- talk about it like that, then it makes perfect mm-hmm. sense. But the problem is the knee-jerk response and the and reaction to black folks having their own is dramatically different than anybody else having their own because they, it's almost like we don't think that oh, mm-hmm. 
people are doing this now. It which is the only difference is it would be black folks in charge and not anybody else. Then it's like, oh shit, wait a minute, that's a problem. <laughs> I mean, do, are, am I just making this up, or are people noticing this? No, no, you're not making it up. No, not at all. It's no, always a problem. Like I said, when it comes to black people getting their ass kicked, everybody knows who mm-hmm. black people is. You notice that? Mm-hmm. If you want to discriminate against somebody, if you want to keep somebody from um, being a part of something, if you want to kill them, all of a sudden, we know who black people is with pinpoint accuracy. Nobody has any confusion about who black folks is. But let you start talking about power, let you start talking about having social, economic, and political control, then all of a sudden, well, what is black? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do we really know what? I mean, who is black? See, I don't even engage in that nonsense because it's disingenuous, it's mm-hmm. bullshit. <laughs> you know, the, the funny thing is, man, I, I, I got to say, I put this post out about um, this story here. It was a, a school in Queens, if I'm not mistaken, about a young man uh, that, that – actually, two young students that, that wrote about um, Malcolm X for uh, Black History Month, and they had a choice of uh, Martin Luther King um, – uh, Malcolm X, uh, so I think Rosa Parks was uh, included. Mm-hmm. And so these two young students chose to write about Malcolm X, and the teacher had a problem with that. <laughs> you understand? The teacher, and, Something and, and, tells and, me this and, is not a black school, right? Uh, probably not. Probably not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but what I'm saying is those are the choices given out. And if the teacher knows about the choices given out, why are you beefing if somebody chose it in the first place? If it's a choice. It's, it's because of uh, <laughs> the way when they wrote their re- when they wrote their report and they wrote about Malcolm, mm-hmm. they didn't follow a certain code in how mm-hmm. people want to perceive Malcolm, and they mm-hmm. perceive Malcolm in the way that some people perceive Malcolm as being st- strongly mm-hmm. for his people, strongly mm-hmm. for black people, and not the we are the world type thing that they like to, to try and say that right. he changed, right. which he never did if you read any mm-hmm. of his words mm-hmm. and, and what he said and if you read any of his speeches. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, the only I, thing he changed was tactics and, you know, strategies and tactics. Right. He didn't change his mm-hmm. overall philosophy. No, he didn't. Because I remember so, when they asked him, like, if he was so universal mm-hmm. – and, and there's a book, if anybody wants to read up on Malcolm X, the best book to me to give you a, a clear, concise um, mm-hmm. picture of his ideology is Malcolm X Speaks. Right. Because it's a yes. book about speeches that he did, and a lot of the speeches was after he had broke with the Nation of Islam. Because, mm-hmm. you know, like the part that they always show in the movies when he went to Mecca and then all of a sudden he discovered there was white people there, which is bullshit because he'd been to Mecca <laughs> plenty of times before that. Mm-hmm. And then um, he became universal man. Now I, everybody's right. the same. No. They asked no. him, do you believe that white people should be a part of black organization? This was after he had left Elijah Muhammad mm-hmm. and everything. And he said, no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if he was so universal, how come he didn't have want white people to be a part of black organization? Because he knew what that mind fuck was all about. Yeah, well, yeah, that, that's just what it is, man. What are you, you know? becoming a part of a black organization for? For the benefit of the black organization? Well, if that's yeah. the case, why don't I become a part of the Klan? Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, so that way I can, I can help the Klan, you know, benefit me. <laughs> what the fuck are you going to Why? I question people who want to do that in the first place. Right, right. I mean, you know who I respect. Dude. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna, uh, I I think that I would probably jump up and tackle this person if it was to ever <laughs> exist. I want to have a white person say this. This this would this would totally floor me and shock me if I was to ever hear them say it. 
somebody come to them and say, well, what do you feel about black people? And they do all good. He said, and I want a white person to say, you know what I think? I think we should leave black people to fuck alone. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Instead of asking me, what do I feel about black people and if I should be a part of this and that, why don't we leave them alone and let them decide what they want to do? How about that? Mm. I think I would be on the goddamn floor (laughs) if I ever heard that. You know you're right. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Right, Marshall. And and I'm not just saying that because – you know, because I'm going to be honest, I mean, it's just too much bullshit that that's gone on and I'm not going to, you know, condone or anything like this. But my opinion is, is as far as the schools thing, you know, education is important. And what, what Mark said about going to the library, I mean, granted, he at first he didn't want to go to the library, but then he started liking it. Right. And reading for yourself and seeing what what's there. Mm-hmm. I mean, once you are once you have an education, it's nothing that something anybody can take away from you. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, the schools, uh, and I'm going to say this, I'm going to be honest, yeah. tend to uh, shall we say edit things they don't like that happened. Mm-hmm. Yes, they do. Exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. As I'm gonna be honest, yeah. if 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 it wasn't for some um, persons of color being either native or African American, white people back in the day would have would have starved because they they were dumbasses. <laughs> and the reason I say that shit <laughs> is because they mm-hmm. thought, oh, because we don't have to listen to other cultures because we know what the fuck we're doing. And they're in a new world, and they ain't got a fucking clue. I mean, take the Pilgrims for example. If they, if if it wasn't for Santo, them motherfuckers would have starved. <laughs> man, man, man. I tell you, I tell you. Uh, you know what? I want to get back to that post I, I put out about the, uh, the two little boys uh, with that that school in Queens. So. You know, people are checking it out, whatever, whatever. A few comments, and, and then uh, I had a guy, <laughs> a friend of mine, who is uh, Cuban. Yeah, I think he's a uh, mix with Cuban. He's mostly Cuban, I guess. And he had said something. He said a few comments about uh, excluding all the races and all that other stuff. And I'm looking at it like I was a little, I'm not going to lie to you, I was a little bit annoyed and answering the crack. I'm not going to lie to you. Because <laughs> I, I, I was going to go other places, but I said, no, I'm going to take it easy. And maybe I shouldn't know, but I said, I'm going to take it easy and I'm going to be cool. You know what I'm saying? Because, Mark, you know what I'm talking about, right? I mean, Hollis, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you was like, you were like, come on. <laughs> Why is it an issue? Pretty much. You know, and I was just like, I'm just like, come on. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it's just like what I told you earlier. Um, Yeah. It's a threat. Whenever whenever you start talking about black folks having something of their own, Mm -hmm. it's a threat. But everybody Mm -hmm. else is just a natural, organic thing, and nobody seems threatened by it. Like I said, I have people who argue with me up and down, have black folks, everything black folks do got to be integrated and they got to include and everybody else got to be involved. But then those same people will go to an Italian restaurant with all Italian workers in it and have absolutely no problem. They'll go to an Asian restaurant with all Asians in it, have absolutely no problem. As a matter of fact, the thought to even question it doesn't even come up in their mind. No, it does not. But if black folks no, want something not. of their own, and God forbid it's just them involved, oh, my God, the world is going to come. Cats going to start playing with dogs. People are yeah. going to start riding down the street like Mad Max. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's an extinction-level really fucking event if we want something yeah. of our own. It's a contradiction in this bullshit. Yeah. It was war they wanted and war they got, but they broke the inner heat with my own. 